Welcome to Sporty's What You Should Know program on the Aspen Evolution. I'm Phil Boyer, former president of the Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association. This first year of retirement, I accepted a handful of special assignments that had meaning to me and to general aviation. One of these was to become a board member of Aspen Avionics. Two years ago, when at AirVenture, I saw a large crowd gathered around the booth for a small avionics company. In my experience, this indicated someone had a hot new product. And they did. It was the Aspen prototype of a unique flight instrument system. Over my many years of GA flying, I've closely watched the development of glass panel technology and had hands-on experience flying with all-glass cockpits in company planes. As a more than 40-year pilot, what interested me the most was transitioning from steam gauges to glass, and I found it easier than I thought. Plus, it brought an added degree of safety to the light plane cockpit. What must have attracted those pilots around the early Aspen exhibit also attracted me to join their board. It truly is the most flexible and affordable electronic flight instrument system available for general aviation. Now almost any older airplane can have a panel to rival and in some cases exceed the new breed of airplanes many of us wish we could afford. And best of all, the Aspen product is simple to use. Because the Aspen Evolution was designed for the many makes and models of older airplanes, it also must be compatible with the various existing NAVCOM, GPS, and autopilots they contain. So as many Aspen owners have already found, you don't need to do a full panel upgrade when transitioning to this glass system. And there's no need to learn to use a new, often more complex GPS and autopilot. As owners, we all have to be concerned about what I call the fly away cost. You know, I've often put equipment in my airplane that costs more to install than the device itself. Now, keeping this in mind, Aspen designed and patented the unit with the unique retrofit technology. The flight displays fit directly into your aircraft's six-pack panel holes, so there's no need for expensive new panel modifications. These displays are self-contained and don't require the installation of heavy remote mount boxes. Evolution is a fitting name for the system since the electronic flight displays are fully upgradable. The creative modular design allows the system to grow with you, your airplane, and your pocketbook over time. You can add capabilities as they become available or even additional displays for a two display or even three display installation as I've done in my airplane. The Evolution is built around the EFD-1000 display unit featured in this training program, which replaces a vertical pair of your six-pack. The EFD-1000 has a bright six-inch LCD display with the highest resolution on the market and a number of knobs and buttons you can use to control the system. While the system is very intuitive to use, this training program will provide you with the knowledge you'll need to be safe and confident before you go flying with the Aspen Evolution. I'll caution that this program will explore many different configuration options, which admittedly can seem a bit overwhelming. But keep in mind, once you discover the setup that suits your flying, there's no need to make changes to the configuration and features that suit your piloting needs. For decades, I've been a strong proponent of taking some time to use the new avionic device on the ground to get familiar with all the features and buttons outside of the busy environment of actually flying the airplane. Some sort of ground airplane power is ideal for this task. Then take to the air on a VFR day with a safety pilot before going single pilot IFR. For those of you brand new to glass flying, the best advice I ever got when I made the transition was look at the display just as you would look at the classic six pack. Instead of all round gauges, the airspeed, altitude, vertical speed, and other primary flight instruments are in the same location. 
they just aren't round. For ease of transition, the Evolution even provides you the option to turn the airspeed and altitude tapes off as long as you have the mechanical backups to rely on. I find myself somewhat spoiled now with a wealth of information at your fingertips and wonder how I ever got along without it.